Well, welcome back to the channel, guys, and thank you yet again for all the support. I'm back in the kitchen, and don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with any like cheese videos or pellet videos or anything like this, but it's one that I promised I would do, and loads of people have asked me to do it, So, and it is how to get two top kits out of one length of Jura slip. This would work for the hollow as well, because that's three metre lengths. Uh, if you use original slip, it's five metre lengths, so you can get even more kits out of that. But uh, the most important one, obviously, is the new Jura slip, because loads of people are using it. Um, but the same principle applies for this hollow, whatever elastic you use, it's three metres long. Now, I must stress that this only works in short F1 style kits. Um, the ones we have are 1.8 metres long, um, come in this nice fetching grey colour that everybody knows I love that. Um, and what the first thing I must say is that when you actually do this, obviously, you're only getting 1.5 metres of elastic per length, you know, three metres in half. So what you must do, what you must realise is that the elastic is going to be quite pingy to start with. So once it's actually in the pole, uh, in the top kit, the elastic is going to be quite pingy and it might feel that, oh, that's too tight. But trust me, when you get out F1 fishing, uh, carp fishing, it doesn't matter. You actually want that bit of pinginess a lot of the time. And by the time you've hooked a few big fish on it, give it a good stretch, it'll be perfect. So don't worry about that. It'll feel a bit pingy to start with, but trust me, once you've fished with it, within your first session, it's going to be perfect. So just a couple of bits that you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need your elastic, some scissors, a few beads. I'm just using the old green uh, pressing Dacrons. Uh, I've got some old, old ones, beads that I'm going to use at this end, uh, obviously at the puller end, and, and that's it. Um, I am going to use Dacron on this occasion rather than the straight bead. These are going to be for uh, fishing maggots on the bottom. Um, I've got like some spring festivals, hopefully, fingers crossed, coming up, uh, where it's going to be a lot of F1 fishing uh, with pellets and baits like that on the bottom. So I just like to use a Dacron nowadays for that. Um, the other one you're going to need is a uh, diamond eye threader. Uh, obviously, it needs to be th the right length for the top kit, uh, in this case, 1.8 metres, albeit a, a little bit at the end. Um, and I've already got mine through. Now, with the roller puller, it can be a bit tricky. Uh, hence why I've already done it. And there's two ways to do this. Um, if I was just elasticating the top kit as normal, I'd drop the elastic in from the end, let it come all the way through, then poke the roller down to the bottom and then bring the elastic back up, if that makes sense. But because I can't do that in this instance, I've had to feed it through the roller, almost bend it up and then send it up. Then once you get to this end, it can be a little bit tricky because the, the threader sometimes doesn't want to go through the bush. So just give it a wiggle, a wiggle, a wiggle, and it'll go through eventually. Um, but that's, it's easy enough to do that. But get that in before you start, dead easy. Better still, if you've already used the top kit in a previous, uh, with previous elastics in that you need to change, even better. I, I just tend to, most of my elastics tend to be in this situation. So, and then all I would do is tie the fresh elastic onto this and pull it through. I'll show you that in a minute, but no, be, no uh, threader would even be needed for that one. But because we've got that threaded up, we'll start with this one, the one that's got the diamond eye in it. So first job is to cut your elastic in half. Now, now you can do this dead easy by simply elasticating your pole as normal um, and then chopping it really tight for your knots and everything. But the problem is then you're not quite sure of what you've got to work with, with each kit. So I much prefer just to unravel it, chop it in half. A little tip Matty Dawes gave me that was, and. Uh, and it's worked well. So obviously this stuff's pre-lubed up, so it's lovely and greasy. And this knife's a beautiful colour. I don't know why I've always liked pink elastics. So the first thing is to grab the two ends. So got the two ends there, put them together as accurately as possible, obviously like that. And then through your fingers, thread your way up. Be careful not to lose your point. Thread it up, thread it up, thread it up. And eventually you'll get a loop in the end, which obviously is a halfway point. So within a few mil, you've got two equal strands, strands of elastic. So we'll chop that. And like I say, that's going to be 1.5 meters, which is a little bit short for the for the kit, but that's not, not a problem. Right, we'll get the Dacron on. Now there's all sorts of ways of doing this. I just use a, a little overhand granny knot. Um, don't use too much elastic. Obviously keep it as tight as possible because you don't want to lose any excess le length off your elastic. So I'm just going to pop that through there. Just once, give it a wet, and that's it for me. Look at that, it's locked. 
there's all sorts of lassoing methods and fancy knots that you can use, but I just find a single overhand knot has never let me down. And uh, yeah, I just prefer it that way. So I just pull that on there. I actually pull it through like that. If you see that? And then push the Dacron back onto it. I just prefer how the elastic comes out the front of the Dacron rather than, see that? I prefer the, how the elastic goes through the Dacron like that. It's just a little thing, but I just think it's neater. It sits against the bush better. If there's a piece of elastic coming out of that end, it, it kind of sits on a wonk. So that's just how I do it. I've uh, done it nicely. So there you go. So the next job is to get your bead on the, on the uh, diamond eye threader. So put that on now. Like I say, it can be, it's going to be really fiddly when we get the elastic through because we're working at such fine tolerances. So anything you can do like that just to speed up the process and make it a little easier, the better. So we'll pull that through there. Got that locked in place like that. And then we're going to pull it through. So pull it through and hold the bead at the same time. Can you see that? And we'll pull that through nice and steady. There's no rush. Nice and slowly, nice and slowly. I can feel it coming to where I need it to be now. It's just popped through there and you can see the beads there ready to go. I can, I can just grab it, pull it out and grab it. So you, <laughs> you're not going to lose it. Even if you do lose it at this point, it's not going to shoot back up the pole. As you can see there, that's beads on there, ready to tie a knot in. Perfect. So I'm just going to do a little, just do a little loop, nothing fancy, give it a wet. And then pull that bead up into there like that and that's it done. Trim that off so it's nice and neat. So there we've got one top kit there that's now elasticated with that nine Jura slip. Like I say it'll feel a bit pingy to start with. You'll, you'll think oh god that's too too much but trust me once you've fished with it it'll be perfect and you'll never have it like drooping out the pole. What I like to do I like to pull it all out and ravel it around my hands like that. Can you see that? Let it off a couple of times. I'll do that two or three times. Simulates a bit of a pre-stretch. There, I'm really, I'm really pleased with that. You know, I'll be able to fish with that really nicely. And then I can al always get this second kit out of this secondary length. So onto the second length. And this top kit's a little bit different. We don't need the diamond eye this time. Um, we've already got the old elastic in the top kit and it's just a case of attaching it on. So I'm just going to wrap this up. This might come in handy when it comes to getting the bead actually on at the puller end. So I will keep this about, but I'll only need it like that. It's, it's fine wrapped up like that. So again, first job, get that Dacron on there. Like I say, I'm just going to feed my elastic through there like that. As tight as you can do it. Don't want to, like I say, don't want to lose any excess length. Pull that tight, moisten. Plenty of moisture. So that slips through like that. Another wet. Then pull it, tease it back into the Dacron. As such. Little tip I, had, I got off Matt Godfrey years ago that was, and you can see it's sort of hanging out of the pole tip like that. Just sits better. So there we go, Dacron's on. And now the job is to get it through. So I've got a an old top kit here that this elastic was in from all the last summer, so it needs replacing. Now the first job actually, get rid of the old bead, keep that for another day. That can then become our puller bead or whatever for another day. Now I want to tie the knot in the old elastic rather than the new elastic so I don't lose any more length. So just a, a, a overhand knot like that. Pull that, put that through the knot and then tighten the, the blue elastic around it. Can you see that? That way I can just, when I get to the end where I need to be, I can just pull it off. So we'll get that threaded through there. Nice and simple. Get back down to our puller end. Pull it gently, nice and slow, nice and steady. Get to this bit, bit of resistance, but as you can see, it's there. And I'm just going to leave that like that because that's going to help me not lose the elastic back up the pole. I'm going to get my bead and I'm going to put it on my little diamond eye at this point. See that? My, my puller bead's on there, ready to go. Because this is critical, this bit, because I don't want to lose the elastic up the pole. So, again, keep it trapped. I'm going to pull that blue off, the blue, the old elastic. And as you can see, I've got the pink there. It's not damaged at all. 
it's ready to go get a dacron on there uh, get the bead on there sorry so pull that through all the time as you can see i've got it in this hand trapped so it can't shoot back up the pole that's really important because it's a pain to get it back threaded through do it again simple overhand loop give it a wet like that see that pull that in boom job done so a couple of top kits there elasticated with one length of gyro slip so once again wrap it round wrap it round wrap it round super fast give it a bottom down there give it a real good stretch do it a couple of times nice and simple and they're perfect so what we've got there the two top kits perfectly elasticated out of one packet of Jura slip so for six quid what this is 5.99 you're getting two top kits there if you're going three times a week, you probably have to change it once throughout the year, so you probably have to do this twice. But for a lot of anglers like me who don't go fishing all the time, you know, I go once a week at best, this will probably last me most of the year. So I've got two top kits there for, for six quid, which I think is you know, pretty cheap to be fair. You see they're nicely tensioned. I've already got my hookups on there because these will be for shallow rigs. So I'll be hooking them up and leaving them in my uh, top kit case. And that's it. I hope that uh, is easy enough to follow. It's a, sim it's a simple process. And as you can see, all we've got spare uh, is about, I don't know, seven or eight centimetres of elastic that I've had to trim off. That's all that we've got left from that uh, three metre length. So it's really tight. You know, the tight margins that you could easily lose your elastic up the pole again. But on the whole, a nice, easy process and makes elasticating that little bit cheaper.